Hello and welcome my growing audience <laughs> once again <laughs> uh, just a joke uh, well unless you are a fruit or a vegetable but then you wouldn't watch this <laughs> um, well I want to share with you my new find it's an absolute treasure and um, it's on the dumpster dive I found it in the rubbish you know it's um, I already have one uh, sewing machine here, but it's borrowed, it's not mine. And uh, recently I found this one. Recently recently means about three weeks ago. Uh, I just had absolutely no time to um, take care and uh, make a proper video about that. I made a short video in Polish about that, um, but you know, that's... That was, let's say, unboxing. This one is a review. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, it's a review because I already did some work with that. So, you know, I, I know that this beauty is working, you know. And uh, in the moment when I saw it on the street, I was like, you know, hey, beauty, you know, what are you doing here? You know, you could be a star, you could be a, you know, um, Ah, you could be great, you know, and uh, well, with me it will be only hard work and um, well, you will get some oil from time to time, I guess. Yeah, uh, what is very, you know, um, really great about that find is that it came with a manual. You know, not often you find a item in the dustbin that comes with the instruction manual and um, I was searching through uh, maybe I would find some invoice but you know this machine was uh, probably sold um, before the time when there was necessary to give invoices and that kind of stuff because it's a um, Singer 358 exactly the model and here is the original uh, manual and here is the year of edition copyright 78 so it's it's older than I am at least the manual because machine maybe it's you know was sold few years or, or produced few years later but it's absolutely stunning you know what can you get on the street directly on the street it wasn't you know Somebody was taking care about that machine pretty well, so um, they uh, didn't really just dump it into the dustbin as, as uh, you know, some big um, businesses usually do with very expensive things. They really put it aside, you know, they put all the stuff into a plastic bag. It even came with accessories, you know, I mean, imagine that. It's, this is absolute treasure, I mean, you would search for uh, the second-hand shops for that for you know to, to find one and, and you know yeah, possibly you could find it you know I mean they are not so rare anyway okay let's let's take a look under the skirt you know <laughs> Ta -da! it's absolute beauty and uh, really I love it I love it how it works I love how it operates and um, I love how it looks. I mean, made in Italy. You can see these lines, these curves. You know, it it had to be Italian who who did that job. You know, and this this nice here chrome. I guess it's chrome plated plastic. It's beautiful. It's it's like it comes from that era when people uh, didn't really know uh, what the big production and mass production is and huge consumerism. They, they still was having this, you know, attachment to details and, you know, to, to make feeling, things uh, look beautiful, <laughs> yeah. And um, there is also a telephone number to the previous owner and uh, I still haven't the time to call or, uh, you know, uh, to contact that person and say thank you for that at least, you know, because this is the, le the, the, the least I could do. Uh, but first I decided to make this video and um, um, well maybe I will attach it to SMS with thank you and so on 
and what is important uh, is that you know now this thing is going to be taken care about pretty well and it's not just a basic model it's a swing machine that does does all those zigzags you know and uh, you can change the position of the uh, shaft this one you know the, the needle but it also has this one you know I was initially th thinking about you know maybe it's for making buttons but it's not this has a disc drive you know this machine operates on this plastic rings that you insert in the top of the machine and um, yeah and they basically program it into doing a particular um, you know movement of the needle on each of those plastic discs there is a pattern picture of it and it tells you how the needle will operate you know on which conditions you know this one as you can see will get offset in uh, once every uh, so uh, you know how we call it steps of the needle so um, you could uh, basically if you wish so you could uh, adapt them to your own needs i mean you could make uh, your own discs and you know program the machine i was even thinking initially about uh, something more creative like let's say um, put here some some sort of microcontroller that would push this uh, rod that is you know uh, reading the program um, and basically design the patterns in the uh, computer uh, but when I started to try to use that I realized that it's not so easy um, you know yeah I mean all those patterns that they show here are you know um, nicely uh, they nicely see on the papers but uh, if you try to do them it really works so and so I mean they look more or less as, as this over here but uh, it's very difficult to achieve that because first you need to spend few minutes setting up the the um, you know uh, how strongly the, 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 the thread should be um, pulled back uh, how exactly broad the step should be to achieve that kind of uh, um, uh, you know pattern it's really really uh, confusing and yeah of course you can do buttons and all that stuff there is a you know beautiful description of that I mean you could I could you know because now it's mine and uh, I mean unless you get exactly the same uh, luck as I did you know then yeah but you know I can always search for a machine like that uh, in the second hands and if you need any answers I can I can possibly give it to you um, I have one that was together with that papers another book but it's not exactly from this model it's like uh, overlook on other different modes of, of machinery and uh, yeah it's everything is pretty similar oh, there is even described this pattern uh, thing stitch length and so on fashion discs zigzag machines with replaceable discs yeah so it's not only this model that, that had it yeah, but as I said it's not very easy anyway um, this machine is absolute treasure the only thing that was missing from here was this um, a bobbin I had some bobbins but there was much too broad and uh, yeah okay so maybe just for a uh, kicks and uh, to make this video more of a uh, entertaining one I will maybe do some stitches huh? It's just a sample piece of fabric and uh, let's try it ah, maybe on a single sheet so um, let's start with the straight one needle in the middle 
and the nut sole. Oh. I mean, take a look. It looks fabulous. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. Ah, you see, this is what I said about the, you know, how tight it should be set. I think it's over here that determines what is right or wrong. Okay, let's try once again. This one, this time I will try to make a larger steps. Let's say I will set it on two, a straight stitch. The sound of it is also beautiful. It, there is no clunking, no clicking, nothing. It's it going, uh, it goes really smoothly. Maybe I will do a comparison of those two machines and. Hmm. I'm doing something wrong. Okay, let's try to stitch to p put it up to absolute maximum. Oh, now I think I I over tight it. Yes or no? Yes. As you can see, it, it's tr going really, really straight. It's because it's a straight knitting. That's why it needs a little bit tighter. Yeah, so let's go into the zigzag. So we start with a... Oh! I didn't keep my attention to what's going on. Can I do it? It's the most difficult part of job of every tailor, I guess. Come on, come on. It's like Cartman waiting for Nintendo Wii. <laughs> okay. Once again, S straight one. And now let's go to the zigzag. And back to the straight one. Ah, here you can see the effects of over tightening the threads. So it, it looks okay, but ah, on the maximum it, it didn't bind in every stitch and it pulled it a little bit. Anyway, this machine is working absolutely perfect as for my needs I will never need really to use all that stuff okay let's try to do the other thing which is the uh, the disc um, what do we have here this one is some drops no I don't like this one I was trying this one before and it absolutely failed okay cross sound no I don't like cross sound um, this one doesn't it's in any order whatsoever it's something like this let's let's check this one this one looks very interesting like a uh, what is it it's like PWM you know pulse with modulation pattern <laughs> let's see okay so for that we need to set it for a uh, um, I guess we need to set it for the this one. We also need to I will leave this one in the middle and here we need to get to the disc and let's set it very very um, you know narrow and let's see what what it can do. Maybe we'll It works! Oh, I am! It really works! Huh. I didn't expect that. It's the first one that actually looked like it's supposed to look. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's some kind of a, you know... How you call it? It's a sign for me. Maybe I should become a fascist designer or something like that. Who knows? 
<laughs> oh come on okay let's say we try another one as well because the staircase it's it really looks nice it really looks nice maybe I I will do something with that honestly I, initially I was thinking only about hard work for that machine do you know this is what I did today with it you know I stitch this uh, shade it's a from this uh, you know garden a pergola that you usually have you know for uh, sitting inside it's for mosquitoes but you know I put it over my micro garden because the summer is coming and this is Cyprus so you know ooh -hoo -hoo. okay let's try another one um, let's say which one not the drops the drops I didn't like something fancy maybe we should try this one or this one let's say this one Okay, and here we go. Panayamo, it really works and it really works well. I, you know, my f previous attempts was absolutely futile. Maybe I use a different uh, type of fabric and uh, that's why it looks so bad but this looks really nice I mean even if I made right now a handkerchief and put that pattern on around it you know it, it would immediately make it look like you know ah never mind okay but what if I put it on a single sheet because I know that the single sheet will probably cause some troubles with that let's see Okay. So this is how it started. Then I pushed it a little bit, crimped it a little bit closer, and then I went absolutely nuts with the length of the thread. It works even on a single. No, it wasn't a single in the beginning. Okay. But here you can see, if it's single, it always had some problem with that. It's too thin. Never mind, it works. I absolutely love that machine. Thank you for, uh, you know, for my luck in that case. And for uh, the other person, you know, uh, who uh, abandoned that beauty. I don't know what was the reason behind it, you know. Maybe someone decided that it's just collecting the dust or they got a brand new machine or you know there is million possible scenarios anyway thank you and more videos coming soon